Hi guys, here is the next Unreal Engine 4 tutorial about communication between blueprints using custom events. So let's return to the light switch project in which we add a canvas panel as an overlay to the viewport. And the goal is to show this message panel here dynamically when we enter the box collider of this light switch. So here is the canvas panel and the child components are an image and a text. I will define a custom event to set the visibility of the message panel and the text of the text field. So let's see what we have to do. We have to set the message panel as a variable, just use this checkbox here, is variable, and the same we have to do for the text field. Now we have two variables a message panel and a text field. Let's call the text field text message or txt message and the message panel, yeah, panel message. Okay, these are the names of the variables and we can set these in the graph. So open the graph, here you can see the variables and then we have to define a custom event. A custom event is something like, yeah, think of it as a function. So right click in the editor here and choose add custom event. Then define a name for this custom event like on light because we want to switch the light on and off. But well, I think the name should be more general because it's not only for lights, okay? You can reuse it to open this message box for every component you like. So let's call this on message. So whoever is going to call this custom event, he's going to open or close a message. So we have to set the visibility, so define a parameter called visible and the type is an enumeration, it is called eSlate visibility. So that's the first parameter and the second parameter will be a string and this is the text that is going to be displayed in the message panel. And we call this message. Now what do we have to do in this custom event? We have to set the visibility of the message panel and we have the variable panel message, drag it here into the editor and we want to set the text of the text field. So drag this into the editor also. Now we have these two variables and we need functions. The first function to set the visibility is, yes, set visibility. So drag this here out and search for set visibility and connect it here to the panel message okay and after that we have to set the text of the text field and this method is called set text I know it's really intuitive then select the message of the custom event with the text parameter of this function and we're done with that. Now we defined the custom event and what is missing is we have to call the custom event and we call this here in the blueprint of the light switch when the player is entering or leaving the box collision area around this component. We defined a variable in box, which indicates if the player is inside of this box, but we changed the type to the one we used before, which is called eSlate visibility. And when the player is entering the box, we set it to visible, and when he's leaving, we set it to hidden. Now we use the same data type that we use in the custom event to set the visibility of the message panel, and that makes it really easy to call this custom event. Just drag out a function to get the widget blueprint that contains our message panel. And this is our class HUD widget. And in each case, no matter if you're entering or leaving the box, we get this widget and then we call, here it is, the custom event on message. And now we can set these two parameters, visibility and message of our custom event. But first we have to connect the widget 
as the target. And then set the value of the visibility parameter to the one of the inbox variable. And the message could be something like press E to toggle the light. And we can set this here directly. And then let's save, compile and start the game. Okay, the message panel is invisible and once I'm entering here this box collision area, the message panel is displayed and the text is set to press E to toggle the light and when I press E the light is toggled. And again we created a logic, a blueprint that is reusable. You can use this for other components with different logic and different messages. Okay my friends, I really hope you like this video and my channel and if you do please let me know and subscribe to it and it would be really cool if you could support me on my Patreon. Who knows, perhaps someday I can go full time for creating those tutorials. Thanks a lot for watching and come back soon to JNM.